All right. Yeah, I set up um, the uh, the Italian side. Um, just a setup. I'm just going basically. Um, well, the way the rules say, and it uh, just says. And yeah, I'm just. I'm gonna have to wander around the table thing thing here too. But I thought maybe the camcorder would be a bit nicer to use for stability, and I can uh, take a look at stuff and. Like I was saying, I'm just going to take my sweet ass time doing this, setting it up, and it's just going to be extremely low key, whatever. Um, yeah, just go there. So basically, it just says, um, uh, basically, take the storage box from your for your power, which uh, uh, has its setup chart on the top. The chart shows the name of the power, its units, color, its emblem on the side, uh, and the side it's on. Also lists the starting numbers and locations of that power's units. So I tried to put on it. You can't. I couldn't do it. Um, like for example, over here, um, Piedmont. They wanted uh, six infantry and two artillery. And then yet again, over in Venice, it was another six infantry and and two artillery. Uh, there's not enough. <clears throat> excuse me, artillery. Uh, Italian artillery. Uh, sorry, uh, infantry uh, pieces. Um, so the, and I guess this is uh, quite a bit for everybody. Hold on, I'm going to the other side here, so. So they, they give you these, I guess, little poker type chips. And, um, they're different colors. They've got red and blue, and they tell you to use the red for, um, the central powers, and the blue for the Entente, um, or allies, I think this is what they call them. And, uh, there's two different shades of each color. So there's a light blue and a dark blue. And the dark blue is to represent five units, and um, the light blue or light red is uh, one unit. So anyway, so that's what I did. Uh, I put, as you can see over here, I did notice uh, one neato, well, a couple of neato things. Um, first of all, it's just awesome to see little ships and stuff like that on a freaking board. I'm like, oh, wow. I don't know if you can see this down here. This is the second neat thing I thought was really nice to see. Freaking troops in, in Africa. I was like, right on, man. This, it just, I, you know, I didn't clue in. Obviously, it's there, but I was like, oh my gosh, they're asking me to put in Italian troops in Libya and Somaliland and stuff like that. I was like, wow, this is really nice. Uh, I will say one little pet peeve for me right now. Um, I look, I'm not, <clears throat> excuse me, the um, the sharpest tool in the shed, and they do not. Sh uh, they just say there's battleships, cruisers, transports, and submarines. Okay. I, I, you know, I can, within reason, but it's, you know, I'm like, I, sh I don't want to have to guess. And um, I, I just went, okay, probably, obviously the battleship is big, the biggest one. I guess, and I was like, okay, that's probably the cruiser. And this is the transport, since it's got like a lot of windows or something. Um, and then the submarine is pretty obvious. Uh, hold on here. This has just got that little thingamabob. Anyway, so I was like, Anyways, that would have been kind of nice. Just, just sorry to say, but anyways. So anyways, I just popped these guys on. It said I've got, um, yeah, I ended up, I'm allowed to have, or the Italians have one battleship, one transport, and one cruiser in Sea Zone 17. So I just, you know, put the transport near, so I thought maybe they'd be, you know, going back and forth colon uh, colonial things. Maybe put the battleship near uh, the capital to ward off anybody. So I'm going to do the, oh, and here's the other nice, nice thing I noticed. Um, I'm going to do the Russians next, and that'll be that, and then I'll, I'll set up off, whatever. Hold on, I've got to put it back so you can get maybe a bit more towards Russia-ish stuff. There we go. Uh, so I, I, I thought this is kind of, I didn't expect um, uh, diversification uh, between like the, the models or whatever but there was for the infantry so I thought that was kind of nice so I don't know if you can see that but um, so the Russians got you know that capped hat or whatever and the Italians have that French style helmet so I thought that was kind of neat uh, and goes there I do believe all right so let's do the Russians and it's on the box so um, which I think is pretty nice so I just so obviously I'll go on to the other side and you'll see me I'll just uh, yabber them out. How's that? And then we'll go from there. And I still, I mean, like I said, this is all I know. I don't know anything else. And maybe I'm, you guys are having a good laugh because you've played Axis and Allies uh, three trillion times World War One, uh, World War Two ish, and it's you know more or less the same uh, way of doing things. I don't know. It's all new to me. So um, 
these things. I have no idea what they do yet, so I'm assuming maybe some kind of tracking um, thing or whatever. But uh, I certainly would like to use them for other games. Hint, hint. So, here we go. I gotta go grab the box too. Yeah, it was neat to, uh, yeah, it was fun, to, like I said, to put a, put boats and ships or something. I don't know if I gonna get smacked for calling them boats, but such is life. <clears throat> All right, so I get to put uh, an infantry in uh, Finland, and if I want, I could just put, um, oh, they're blue now. I could have put, uh, I could put a poker chip if I want, but I mean, come on, I'm going to do that. So there we go. Uh, Karelia, cool. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just thinking of uh, Sibelius and stuff like that. Okay, one infantry. Uh, Livonia, three infantry and two artillery. So this one I'm actually going to use, um... Hmm. I think I'm allowed to use two poker chips like this. Two light poker chips. And then an infantry. I can do that. And two artillery. And I can do the same thing, so I think I will, just for fun. So. Alright. And then uh, Poland gets six infantry. So there's a dark one I'm going to use for sure. Okay. Oh, it's so neat, man, to like I uh, to morph this into the Valkyrie map and stuff like this in my head. Oh, this is neat. Uh, two artillery. Sure would like some of that in the other game. Uh, Belarus, six infantry. So I'm going to do that dark blue thing as well. Okie doke. And they get two artillery. So I'm going to do the light. I, it looks like I'm starting to run out here, so. Uh, Moscow gets six infantry. Okay. Just looks really neat. I, I love that strategic look to things. This is really neat. Uh, and two artillery as well, so I'll do that light blue thing again. It's not that bad. I don't know. It's the way it goes. I mean, look who's talking, for Christ's sakes. Uh, Ukraine, 6th Infantry. Alright. Uh, and 2 Artillery. Uh, I will be, uh, I'm, you know, it would certainly be nice to uh, be able to buy some more 3D print some extras. I'll tell you that much. Jeepers jumping. Because I'm running out pretty quick here. Uh, tar Tartar stand, three infantry. So I'm going to do the. Yeah, still got quite a ways to go. So I'm going to do that thing again. Alright. And they get one artillery. And then Sebastopol gets three infantry. Uh, maybe I'll do that light thing again. Yeah, and you can tell they've given, uh, there's a hell of a lot more poker chips. Well, I know there's a lot of sides and so on and so forth, but still. Um, and two artillery. Oops, did I pop a tank? Christopher, Christopher, Christopher. Jeepers jumping, are you ever jumping the gun? Pardon the pun. Jeez. <laughs> Lord of mercy, Sebastopol gets um, two artillery. Oh, where are you? And Kazakhstan gets an infantry. And then C Zone 12 gets a battleship. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, wow, cool. Way the heck up there in the Baltic. Neato. And two cruisers in C Zone 21. All right. Uh, hold on here. Okay. And that's it for the uh, the Russians. And yeah, like I said, I'll uh, go and do the other stuff. And uh, like I said, I'll just go back and forth and just leave it here. And maybe, you know, do a overhead at 
type thing. Like I said, when it gets all set up, and um, I'll just pop things in the community tab or whatever and say, hey, what do you think goes on? And if I don't hear anything, then I'll just, you know, and if I've got time, I'll make a move and so on and so forth and just go. It's just the way I, like I said, it's just the exact same way I, I will, um, I do it with jigsaw puzzles. So, okay, hope you're having a great time. See you later.